Are the COVID hotspots cooling or not? Two weeks ago, Darlington had one of the highest rates in the country. According to the official government stats, cases have since tumbled more than halved. But confusingly, new figures from the Office for National Statistics show the infection rate here and elsewhere is still rising, particularly in the young. If so, the third wave is far from over. It's scary. Quite scary times, to be honest, because we think we're actually getting back to normal and it's not. It's really not. For me right now, um, my priority is getting back to some kind of normality. I'm a bit worried. I mean, it hasn't happened to any of them, but it's a bit worried in case it happens. The new data from the Office for National Statistics covers the week up to the 24th of July. Over that period, the Daily Dashboard showed reported cases across England fell by a third. But the ONS, a random survey that tests people whether or not they've got symptoms, shows the number infected with the virus increased by more than 15%. It estimates that more than 856,000 people had COVID in that week. So there's a conflict in the data. Now, it's possible that the ONS figures lag slightly behind the official dashboard stats because it counts people who are infected rather than just new infections. But a new document released by government scientists warns lack of school testing now that the holidays have started may result in some cases being missed. There's been a 14% drop in the number of tests being done across the UK. But secondary school aged children are among the most likely to be infected, with more than 3% carrying the virus, according to the ONS. That's almost as high as the rate in sixth formers and young adults up to the age of 24. And one scientist thinks the rise of the Delta variant may also be part of the story. This may well be a consequence of the Delta variant, we don't know, but you're more likely to have cold-like symptoms now than with previous waves of infection. So if people won't be reporting those or even testing themselves as a consequence of thinking, well, I know this is not a, a, a classical COVID symptom. So that I, think, I think a number of things have come together, actually, which make the daily figures rather suspect. The rollback of the last legal COVID measures last week has yet to affect the data. If people are now less cautious, cases could bounce as the third wave once again picks up speed. Thomas Moore, Sky News.